Well, I don't do an awful lot of mechanical work these days, but uh, my son has broken his car. So he's got a D22 Nissan Navara with a ZD30 motor in it. And this is the A-cam sprocket and gear. As you can probably see, that that is supposed to be a locating dowel. And it doesn't do much locating when it's flush with the face of the gear. It's supposed to fit in that groove there. I've offered my services to try and either completely f this or repair it. Now I'm hazard a guess that that pin is probably hardened steel, but there's one way to find out. So a quick test, at least what I know of anyway, is, uh, is a center punch to the pin in question. Hopefully somewhat in center, if I can end up drilling this out, just give it a little tap a tap. Ah, that is, uh, oh, it's actually softer than I thought. It's left a decent mark in there, which is a good sign because that means I can probably drill it. Or have I spoken too soon? No, the tip's still sharp. Ha. Huh. Just hitting it on an angle slightly just to shift the, shift the center mark more to the center. It seems to be working all right. That's it's actually moved down. Ha. Huh. So this might actually come out pretty easy. Oh well, it might actually come out while I'm drilling it. Well, we'll see what we can do. Let's throw it up on the drill press for now. Um, and because I can't, I can't source a new pin, I'm gonna to have to make one. So I've got plenty of high tensile bolts over here and uh, carbide cutting tools for the lathe. So I think I might be able to spin up a new pin. It's only gotta stick out a bit, well oh, gee. Eighth of an inch, probably. Eighth of an inch just to sit in below, below that boss there. And that boss isn't that deep. Yeah, about an eighth of an inch. I don't know how deep this hole is, so it'll be eighth of an inch plus whatever the depth of that hole is, and then we can make a pin to suit. And if I can get the pin out in one piece, I'll be able to measure it with my uh, micrometer and know what size I've got to work to. Hmm, all right, we'll see how we go. Oh, this tape is filthy. What's going on? Why is it rusty? Okay, we'll start with one of my smaller drill bits. It's a uh, two mil drill bit. We'll see how we go. I'm not too confident. This is only a cheap, nasty. Okay, see so how we go. Oh, that's shocking. I can't be in the chuck properly. Try that. Bit of lube. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Well, now I've dropped my oil everywhere. Okay, that's popped through the pin. So that means I'm now at the base of that hole and there's still a void underneath, which is great news. So I'll just quickly blow that out and see how it goes. Right, give it a clean out. Pull that up with oil and use a two mil pin punch and use some hydraulic pressure just to push that pin out. I'll give that a crack. See how small my pin punches are. Okay, so I don't have a uh, two mil pin punch, but I definitely have a three millimeter pin punch and I've got a three millimeter drill bit. Now the fit and finish is not going to be perfect because these aren't machine. This, this is definitely not a tapered re uh, a reamer, sorry. This is definitely not a machine pin. So it's going to be close enough. Hopefully we can get enough squeeze down in there when this is full of oil. We'll then push the oil down, compress it and hopefully push the pin out of the hole. It does not feel like it's a tight, super tight fit. So, which is a bonus, but it's a trick I'm willing to try. Let's see what happens. Get rid of that so it doesn't fall off again. Easy does it. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, that's left us a little bit of material left. It's not quite centered, but it's definitely not into the bore. We'll blow that out. That might actually work. I'll just run the drills down that again. 
just one more time with a bit of oil. Put some more oil in it. Just fill up that hole and just by virtue of pushing this pin in, acting like a piston, hopefully pushes the old pin out. Absolutely no idea that this will work or not, but you can see our dowel pin drilled out and full of oil. So what I do want to try and achieve without spraying oil everywhere. Let's see if this trick works. All the textbooks say it works, but uh, I can get to try it myself. Just gonna move this back a bit. Side so I can see what I'm doing. With any luck, we can get this pin out. Okay, so here we go. And there we have it. There's the dowel pin stuck on the end of the pin punch here, just by the power of a bit of oil. You can use grease, so you can see. Whoop, dropped it. You can see the dowel pin. With the hole in the middle, didn't break through. Didn't break through the side, and now we can see that the dowel hole is now clear. I'm just going to quickly blow that out just to confirm. Safety squints. I'll get my torch and we'll see if I hold that up. And you can look down the bore. You can see inside the bore. And it looks perfectly fine. So with a bit of luck, the old pin has. Uh, kept its shape. I'll just slide it back over the pin punch here so I can hold it. I'm just gonna, just gonna get my micrometer and we'll get an overall outside dimension and I know how to, uh, what dimension to machine my new pin to. And of course, I don't have a manual one and what's going on here, the battery's flat. All right, I'll be back. I'm just gonna change the battery out. So now that we've got the micrometer up and running, we'll just quickly test the diameter of this pin. Hopefully we can look at machining the new one. Just close in on it ever so slightly. Three nine six six. Three nine six four. So we're looking at about a four mil pin. You can probably buy this off the shelf, but I haven't got any in, in stock, so I'm gonna have to make one. So this is relatively soft, which is probably part of the reason why it's sheared off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a grade 10, I think it is. Let me just go rummaging through my bolts and see if I can find a high tensile bolt to machine down. Okay, found a grade 8.8 .8 bolt, which is 585, so it's an imperial bolt. But anyway, we're going to machine that down. So basically a little bit less than the threads will be left. And we can make a pin so we'll use that to replace this pin so at the moment what depth do we currently have so we want the top of that shoulder five point seven five we'll go with that so five point seven five plus the depth of the boss here Not the most accurate way of measuring it, but that's another 467. 5.75 plus 4.67 is 10.5. 10 10.42, so we'll machine it to, uh, I think we can get away with half a millimeter. If not, we'll go two hundredths. Uh, so we'll machine it to 10.2. Gives us a little bit of wiggle room. We don't want it binding up and, and kicking this sideways once it's located. So we'll go 10.2. So remember that because I'm going to forget. First, we've got to cut the head of the bolt off because that's no good. I don't want... Oh, yeah, we'll cut it off. <laughs> See how we go. Look at that high tensile screw. Good luck cutting any um, high tensile steel with probably, um, you don't want to use high speed steel, so I'm using carbide tools. Just make it easier on myself. So here we go. I've got plenty of bolts if I need to cut more than one. 
So this is the crude video. It's not going to be polished because uh, this is just a rust, well it's not a rust job. Okay, so I've got the pin machine down to where I need it to be. I'm just cutting it off now. I'm just using a parting tool. I've measured ten, the 10.2 millimeters I need. Uh, actually, 10.3, so I can file the end off and put a bit of a radius on it. So there's our little, little pin. It's got a little knob on it. We can put that in the vise and just file that off. But that should be uh, down to size. It's hardened steel. That side's already got a bit of a chamfer on it. See that? And that side just needs filing off. And we're just gonna heat up our little sprocket. We'll probably do it with just hot air. Just hot enough and then this pin should just drop straight in the hole. With any luck. Okay, we'll just file our little um, nib off the end. Shouldn't take too much to take off, but it shouldn't take much. And it's flat. That's all we need. So just holding a little pin in a little pin vise I've got. And I'm just going to break the edge. Ever so slight chamfer on it. Without touching the face, the newly machined and polished face. Very basic. And there we are, we've got our Four millimeter hardened steel dowel pin. Now we're gonna try and get it in the sprocket, or in the gear, I should say, not sprocket. So there's our cam gear, and there's our newly machined uh, pin. And that pin locates in there from this point. So what I'll do now, I'll just go get the hot air gun. We'll heat this sprocket up fairly evenly. Hopefully it's hot enough to just get this pin and practically drop it into position. warm enough. Okay, let's move this over here. Seems to be all the way home. Could have been a little bit hotter, but I think we've got there in the end.